Tired of eating the same old pizza and on a bun for lunch? Well, you're in luck. Friday's lunch is Navajo tacos. Students, are you interested in any extracurriculars? Outside the library on August 18th at lunch will be tables for all clubs, sports, and school-related organizations. Speaking of clubs, Saga Club, Sexuality and Gender Acceptance Club, is meeting Fridays at lunch in room A201. Important announcement for seniors. Seniors cannot leave the campus and come back unless you have an afternoon sport. For seniors to be able to leave at lunch, you must have a minimum of 17 credits, and those IDs will be handed out shortly. For those of you who need it, here's the regular bell schedule for this year. Reminder that you have advisory in your first period class every day but Monday. Are you experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19? Symptoms include fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, loss of smell or taste, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, or diarrhea? If you're not experiencing symptoms, continue going to school unless you have close contact with an infectious individual. If you're experiencing symptoms and have not been tested and you're at home, stay at home and get tested. Isolate? What does that mean? Let me tell you, Brian. Isolate means don't stop and say goodbye to your friends. Head directly to the nurse's office or to your administrator. Let them know you're experiencing symptoms and they will help you find somewhere where you can sit until a parent or guardian can come and get you. Get tested. Once you're at home, make sure that your family schedules a COVID test at this number. If your test result is negative, meaning you do not have COVID, you should still stay home for 24 hours just to make sure that you don't get a fever and that your symptoms improve. And continue to stay home until you have isolated for 10 days your symptoms have improved, and you are fever-free for at least 24 hours. Gosh, Mr. Finucane, thanks for the swell information. You're welcome, Brian. <laughs>